right. Well, now we have a, another special person, a special guest joining us at the table. He starred in, starred in Steve Jobs and X-Men, and now he has a big new role in a movie you might have heard of, Assassin's Creed. Please welcome Michael Fassbender. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. So we've seen you in so many roles from Steve Jobs to Magneto, but uh, I understand that it's true before you had acting aspirations, you actually wanted to be a musician? I did, yes. Um, How'd that go? Not too good, obviously. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah I, I wanted to be a lead guitarist in a heavy metal band. You like Metallica, I read. That's right, yeah. I, I, I like the way you think. That's okay, great. But, it, yeah. but, but you were unplugged, actually, at one point, yes? I was unplugged, yeah. I played uh, with a friend of mine. It was Michael and Michael. And, that uh, was the name of the band? Well, was, no, we didn't really have a band. <laughs> <It's> a <laughs> exactly. Uh, and we ended up playing electric guitars in a pub in... in um, Kalorglin, and uh, they were very sweet to let us play because it was raining outside. We were supposed to be busking with electrical guitars, and, uh, <laughs> and so they put us in the pub, and they were like, "Turn it down, turn it down, turn it down, turn it down." Turn it off. Eventually, it was just turned all the way down, unplugged the electric guitars. Oh. But, uh, but, but we helped. kept dry. <laughs> but it led you to where you are now, right? I guess so, yeah. Of course, it'll yeah. all, all path lead to where you should be right now. And I also, as I was reading about your uh, your history, apparently when you played Steve Jobs, you actually found it slightly challenging because you and technology don't necessarily go together? Yeah, I'm the worst person uh, with uh, technology, phones, computers, it's a disaster, yeah. So how was that when you were playing Steve, and you, you're so convincing by the way, when I'm just a great oh, film, thanks. when you have to, when you have to, you know, talk the talk, well, Is it just apparently he wasn't great in terms of sort of, you know, the ins and outs of it, but he, you know, he obviously put, he had the vision and pulled everyone together. Plus, I guess, you know, I, I'm an actor. Yeah. <laughs> Assassin's Creed is really powerful, very intense. You trained a lot for the role, uh, but before you hit it big, you said you would challenge yourself with different stunts. So what did you like to do? Uh, before I was, a, yeah, when I was an out-of-work actor, I guess I had little challenges for myself. And I, one of them was to, to dive off the 10-meter uh, block in the swimming pool, you know. Oh, wow. You got a diver uh, right here with yeah. you. Yeah. I did that. Yeah, no, yeah, it yeah. hurts. Yeah. Well, I was up at the top. It took me ages. I was so scared. I was like yeah. looking down. I was like, look too long. No, it's not going to happen. <laughs> and these kids were coming up. They were like 10, 11 years old, and they were just launching themselves <laughs> off sideways and sort of like <laughs> flipping. And I, and I was still up there. They came back up again. And they're like, <laughs> they, they, they all went. With like water wings on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, they all went flying off the edge, except one kid. He came up to me and he was like, He's like, you haven't gone off yet, have you? And I was like, no. no. He's like, are you scared? And I was like, yep. <laughs> he's like, I was scared the first time too. But he said, you know, just go for it. You'll hurt yourself a little bit, but it won't be as bad as you think. <laughs> and then he went, and he went there sideways off the thing. <laughs> and I did it. I took his advice, and, I, and he was right. I hurt myself a little bit, but uh, <laughs> not as much as I thought. Well, you hold your own in this new movie, Assassin's Creed. We have a little look at it right now. Mm. Let's take a look. What do you want from me? Your past. Listen to me carefully, Cal. You're about to enter the Animus. What you're about to see, hear, and feel are the memories of someone who's been dead for 500 years. Wait a minute. Synchronization achieved. Commence regression. Woo! See, it's very powerful. This movie is based from a video game. Are you a gamer at all? Uh, I am not a gamer, no. Uh, but I just, uh, I just love this universe that Ubisoft have created. I uh, sat down, I had lunch with them, and by the end of the lunch we were sort of, you know, we were collaborating and we started writing a script because we, we didn't have anything uh, at the beginning. I mean, they had this dense universe. So you just had a game that you created a movie out of. That's right, yeah. Wow. yeah. Well, you take the, your own DNA takes you to your ancestors. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah. I mean, it takes you to different time zones mm. and all around the world. It's, it's a gorgeous yeah. film. That machine's kind of like a genetic DeLorean. It sort of <laughs> allows you to time 
travel through, through your uh, genetic code, which is really cool. The, the concept around the game, which I think is really plausible, is that within our DNA we have the, the knowledge and experience of our ancestors that's been sort of passed down as a survival it's total tool. sense. Yeah. yeah. yeah so. it's, it's a great movie, and I'll be seeing it again with my stepson, who is a huge yeah. fan of Assassin's yeah. Creed. Michael Fassbender, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. They should have let you play on the soundtrack. Michael and Michael should have been on the soundtrack. <laughs> sure the movie is Assassin's Creed. It hits theaters December 21st, everybody.